In this video, I will show you how to get macOS look on your Windows 11 or even Windows 10. So trust me on this one, the end result will look absolutely fire. And at the end of this tutorial, I will also show you how to uninstall or revert back to the default look of your Windows. So stay tuned for this chapter till the end of this tutorial. All download links will be also provided in video description down below, so make sure to check them out. First of all, the first program out of two that I will install is called Rainmeter. So the explanation what Rainmeter actually is, Rainmeter is free program that will allow you guys to transform or customize your desktop experience. With Rainmeter you can use for example some customizable clocks or even music visualizers. So to download Rainmeter, all it is to it, click download button right here on their website or on their official website, open the exe file of the Rainmeter, click OK, click next to the standard installation, click install, click yes, and Rainmeter should be installed. Right now you will click finish at the end of the uh, Rainmeter installation, click finish. And as you can see with this widget, Rainmeter is completely installed and successfully running. Right click on each of these default uh, widgets and click on load skin. So right click on this one, click on load skin, click on the system, on load skin and click on the disk and click on load skin. So here is a question, why are we installing Rainmeter? So Rainmeter is required to run this specific uh, widget or a skin for the Rainmeter and it's called DropTop4 and on their GitHub you can download the latest version or also on DeviantArt. So what is DropTop4? DropTop4 is a basically skin or macOS taskbar for your desktop and it will be seen on the top of your screen as the white bar on the top of your screen. So open up this specific image uh, or RM skin that you downloaded from the DropTop4 GitHub and click install. As you can see, this is the setup uh, display that will show you for installing DropTop4 from GitHub. So here you will pick your preferred language. For this tutorial, I will just pick English, US, click the next arrow. Here you will choose how you would like DropTop to appear on your screen. You have three options, so always show DropTop, which is recommended, auto-hide, so this will auto-hide your DropTop 4 widget and also uh, that it will be shown on desktop only. For this tutorial I will use the recommended route, uh, which is always show DropTop. Click the next arrow right here and you can also use your Gmail to log in into this specific widget and you can also add your preferred media player. For this tutorial, I will just uh, use Spotify because I think the most of you are using Spotify. So click next arrow right here. And also uh, here we have select a home button. For example, I will just pick the Apple one uh, as it was for this tutorial. So we will be customizing Windows uh, to look like Mac OS. Here we also have uh, three options, so small, medium and large sizes for this specific taskbar on the top, so I will just pick the recommended, which is the small one. Click the next arrow and also here we have the color options, the default one and the color match one, I will just use the default color option. And also here is the free version or pay version. So uh, if you want to, you can also pay for this pro uh, program, but in this tutorial we will be using free version of the DropTop 4. Click free version and click the next arrow. And here you can also just pick maybe later or support the creator. So I'll just click maybe later, click allow access to, uh, to the Windows Defender firewall. And as you can see, we have the DropTop 4 completely here fine and running. But if you want to, you can also change the color of your DropTop 4. For example, go to DropTop settings menu. Here we have these specific settings and here we have the color. Right now I will select a preset color schemes and I will select the light, uh, the light color scheme. And I will click apply on the top and right now it should refresh our drop top. Click X on this one. And at this point of the video, make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. So the next big step to transforming our windows to look like macOS is to install macOS cursor. 
For this tutorial I chose the macOS cursor from Diamond 8 Fighter on DeviantArt and I think this cursor looks very macOS like and you will click the download arrow right here. So if you haven't already created DeviantArt account and with this account you will also be able um, to download uh, some other stuff from DeviantArt. So click this uh, arrow on the, on, the, on the bottom right and uh, go to your downloads folder when the file is uh, installed, right click on it and extract all and click extract button on your file explorer window. So when the file is e extracted, go to this specific uh, extracted folder and uh, here you will have setup information type uh, file and you will click right click on it, uh, show more options if you are on Windows 11 like me right now and click install uh, on this specific file, click open, click yes, and right now your uh, macOS cursor should be installed. So right now you will need to go to uh, uh, cursor settings on the Windows, so type in cursor, you will click right here, change the mouse pointer display or speed. So uh, left click on it, go to the pointers, you will have the Windows uh, scheme of the mouse pointer, uh, left click on this one and click macOS uh, theme that we just installed. Click apply, click yes and right now you will see that you have macOS cursor installed. So the next big thing that we will be installing is our rounded uh, taskbar which uh, will allow us to have macOS like a dock on the bottom of our windows. So right now go to their uh, github and here we have the second preview for R3 which is uh, supported for Windows 11. Click to the assets uh, arrow right here and click the zip file to download it. So when the file is downloaded go to the download location for example to the downloads folder extract the file right here so right click it and extract all click extract and this uh, extracted file so I recommend you guys that extracted file, you will cut it, go to this PC, go to the local disk C, and here on the local disk C, I recommend that you create another folder. For example, I will call it tweaks and paste in rounded taskbar file. So this is our rounded taskbar that has been extracted from the previous zip. So right now I will, I will just run, uh, run rounded taskbar exe file. So double left click uh, and as you can see we have here Windows protected uh, your computer. Click on more info and click run anyway. So this should run, run that taskbar as you can see. You have some margin at the bottom and uh, curved uh, edges of your taskbar. On the system tray on the bottom right you will click on the right click on the rounded taskbar icon and click show rounded taskbar and here you have some options for example you have margin and corner radius you can uh, either increase this one for example i will just put it uh, to the default one as it was on 16 and the margin you can play with these settings by your liking for my liking i will just set it to the zero because i think it looks the best that way and also you have here some advanced settings so we have here dynamic mode, show system tray and also translucent taskbar compatibility which is currently very very buggy. Uh, right now I will enable dynamic mode and also disable show system tray. So if I enable show system tray it will look like that on the top uh, on the bottom right but if I disable this setting it will look like that. Right now I know that uh, around the taskbar is currently buggy as you can see on the left it doesn't look right so I will recommend you guys that you can also install some alternatives such as Nixos Dock or even Rocket Dock. So to complete our transformation of our Windows 11 or even Windows 10 to macOS look like you will need to have some wallpapers. For that I will go to wallpapers home, go to their website and here you have some wallpapers. So for this tutorial I will just pick this one Apple September 2021 event one and I think this one looks quite nice as it was on their event where they introduced iPhone 13. So click on the download, I will choose the 4K version of this specific wallpaper, uh, open the file and here we have this uh, specific wallpaper. Cl click on see more actions on the top right, set as and set as background. 
and I think this one looks quite nice. So uh, if you want to, you can also hide the recycle bin, um, a recycle bin icon. So if you want to, you can right click on your desktop, go to the view or show uh, desktop icons. You will uncheck this option and recycle bin should be hidden right now. So I hope this tutorial helped you to transform Windows uh, 11 or even 10 to uh, Mac OS uh, look like and I think it looks pretty great. But if you don't want this look anymore, I will also show you how to uninstall all these uh, specific programs that we installed in this tutorial. So to do that, go to the control panel, go to uninstall a program, and right now you will see rain meter. Click on the rain meter, click on uninstall, and rain meter uh, should uninstall. So completely remove all personal settings and files. So this uh, will also remove all the skins that you installed for the rain meter. So click on install, uh, it says completed, click close and rain meter is completely uninstalled. So you, you will see that you have here some glitches uh, on the taskbar for that to be fixed you will also need to restart the computer. So I hope this video helped you to transform your windows to look like Mac OS. If you haven't already guys, hit that subscribe button and also like button. And with that being said, I see you guys in the next one. Peace.